Hello there, everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews! So today, we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Warper Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Autobot Pipes! So, let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure! So let's, so let's get it on, man, let's go! But before we take a look at the figure itself, it's always nice to take a quick look at the packaging. So you have a nice, beautiful image there of Pipes in his vehicle mode and in his robot mode, looking pretty good, looking pretty, looking pretty sick. Um, he, uh, you have the uh, Transformers Kingdom Warper Cybertron Trilogy logo, Transformers logo, Generations, Takara Tomy, uh, Hasbro, Autobot Pipes, Autobot logo, Warper Cybertron Trilogy, WFC-K32, and you have a beautiful Kingdom artwork as always. And you have the obligatory product shots, you have a robot mode, view command, 17 steps, Autobot Pipes, and there's this this logo thing and of course he's a deluxe class and that is pretty much it for the packaging itself and included in the packaging you have the collector's card and yeah it's another black right now I'm not gonna waste time on these cards anymore you know um, these, these cards are just they're just freaking annoying I, I, I expected a unicron card and I got a black right here card like why? 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 Anyway, so <laughs> that's pretty much it for the card itself. And here we have Autobot Pipes fully transformed into his vehicle mode. And now this figure is definitely a redeco and also a retool of the Kingdom Deluxe Class Huffer. But this figure looks really good in his vehicle mode. I do quite like the silver details. On the front, uh, the headlights are painted in white, and nice uh, windshield wipers done in silver. Got these uh, top parts, top bits, uh, done in white and black. So, yeah, nice silver uh, side view mirrors, silver rims as well. You can see the arms are blatantly visible, the hands are blatantly visible. <laughs> uh, it would have been nice if the, uh, the hands could flip in all the way into the, uh, the forearms, but I know there's not enough space in the forearms, so I guess, I guess why. And he has visible head syndrome right there. <laughs> you could turn his head around if you want to, but eh, I, I didn't. I didn't, unfortunately. Um, of course, he has the same feature with Huffer that he can tow. Uh, Optimus Prime's trailer, but no, Huffer gets to tow Prime's trailer, not Pipes. No, no, Huffer gets to do it, not Pipes. No, <laughs> I don't remember Pipes towing Optimus Prime's trailer, but mm, anyway. But um, but yeah, it looks pretty good in this vehicle mode. He kind of looks like he's like uh, he's bent all weird, but actually that's 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 actually how he looks in truck mode, because that this this trailer hitch thing. Trailer hitch section is actually, uh, it's actually leveled, so yeah. So I don't have any issues with the truck mode. It looks pretty good. I like it. I really like it. I really dig it. So yeah. So here we go. So let's bring in some uh, comparisons right here. Here is pipes compared with the Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime. As you can see how they look together. And last but not least, here he is with his mold mate. Huffer, and as you can see, um, the thing, uh, they do share a lot in vehicle mode, um, except for the, uh, the arms, the, these arm sections, uh, those are completely different, except for the, uh, this, this hinge, this middle, middle bit right here with the arms, so, uh, so yeah, they, they don't share, uh, the shoulder bits, and they don't share the forearm bits, they don't even share the hands as well, the hands are completely different mold, but, We'll see more differences uh, in robot mode, but in terms of the vehicle mode, it's pretty much the same vehicle mode, but they're meant to be the same vehicle mode, since they're supposed to be mold mates, um, so I got no issues with that, so uh, yeah, nice little truck modes, I really, do dig, I really do dig these, so there we go. So there you have that comparison with Huffer in vehicle mode, and that's pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. Now, of course, he does include his accessories. He does include his uh, his his pipes. <laughs> he does include his two uh, guns, which are done in a nice silver paint uh, because it's cast in white plastic but painted over silver. So uh, yeah, it looks they they look pretty good. They look pretty good. So for storage, um, you can put them into the back of the truck like this. Yep, like that, and like so, and. 
that you have your storage in the vehicle mode. But if you really want to have pipes uh, with the smokestacks in truck mode, uh, you're you're meant to plug this in like so. And there we go. And so there you have the smokestacks in truck mode. <laughs> it looks weird, but it kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of works. Ah, uh, not really. But anyway, so I'm gonna take these off because it's time to transform pipes into his rare bot mode. Now the transformation is very simple on this guy. It's easy. It's uh, it's very similar to pipe uh, to Huffer. <laughs> I nearly called Huffer pipes because uh, yeah, I get confused. But anyway, so to transform pipes into robot mode, you want to take your legs and fold them down just like so, split the legs and then rip out these panels and flip them around, Take out these panels, flip them around and there you have the legs all done and ready. So so now I need to raise up the camera a little bit more so you can see what I am doing. There we go, there we go, there, there he is, there he is, so there we go, Ooh, the camera shaking. The camera is shaking! Anyway, so now, take the hands, flip them out, flip them out, and we'll untab the uh, the arms from these sections right here. Untab the arms like that, and take back, uh, take this section right here, and flip this down, and flip in the wheels, flip in the wheels, and just bring up the shoulders, clip them into place, clip that into place, and there we go. Bring down the arm, rotate it at the, uh, the bicep swivel, Bring down the arm, rotate the bicep swivel, and there you have the upper body all done. So now, bring this back all the way, so it clicks into place. So now this section actually has a different transformation than Huffer. So you could make this look like Huffer if you really want to, but hey, there is a swivel inside here. So you can actually rotate this around and bring this up like so. Um, you could, you know, bring this up like that, you know, for toy accuracy, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for screen accuracy. So, there we go, just bring uh, bring this down, flush against his back, and you can see the Autobot symbol is being exposed, and there you go, there you have Mr. Pipes, fully transformed into his robots. Mode. And he actually looks really, really dang good in my opinion. Wow, this figure looks so, so good. Oh, and uh, yeah, I like the white arms. I like the white thighs. Um, it, it makes him pop out. So, yeah, yeah, there's something in my mouth. Yeah, mm, mm, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, looks pretty good in my opinion. Looks really Really, really good. So, let's get closer. You can take a look at the head sculpt and a uh, nice head sculpt. Nice G1E pipes head sculpt. I like that. And uh, you have the Autobot symbol on the top with some gray paint. And uh, yeah, very nicely done in my opinion. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, really cool figure in my opinion. <laughs> Quite fun to mess with as well because the transformation is freaking simple. <laughs> and that's the way I like it. Easy transformations. I love easy transformations because they're fun, because they make the figures fun to mess with. So yeah, so I got no problems with that. So, but yeah, looks really good. Looks really good. I love the uh, the new chest molding and the new crotch. So that's pretty cool. So they did quite a bit of remolding to uh, to split Huffer and pipes. So it's not a straight repaint. So uh, yeah. I've always wanted the pipes, you know. I've always wanted the pipes and the Huffer, so because they the uh, Huffer and pipes go together really well. So, yeah, yeah, looks, yeah, he looks really good. Looks really, really good. So, um, now articulation-wise, it's the same as Huffer. So, um, do I really need to go through the articulation? <laughs> I guess. So the head is on the uh, ball joint. It can rotate a full 360. Uh, can't really look up, can't really look down. Uh, the arms can do a full 360. It can move in and out. He does have a bicep swivel, elbow joint, uh, slightly on a 90 degrees of bend, and hands can move inward due to transformation. Uh, he does have a 
waist rotation, which is pretty cool. Um, it doesn't have an ab crunch, unfortunately. Uh, the legs can move up that far, can move back, only that far, and he can. Uh, the, the legs can move out only that far. He does have a thigh swivel. He does have a knee bend. Knee bend. Knee, knee, I, I, you know, I almost said knee bend. <laughs> Knee bend is all I, that's all I was trying to say. So he has full deep knee bend. That's pretty cool. I like that. And he does have uh, ankle tiltage. Yeah, there's a lot of ankle tilt. I like that. He has ankle tilts. Yay! <laughs> I'm always happy when a figure has ankle tilts. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Great articulation. I think perfect articulation. I don't think I can see anywhere else that's need that needs extra articulation. Um, he could have used wrist swivels, but honestly, I don't really care about wrist swivels. I don't, I don't, I don't even see a robot rotating their wrists that much. So, anyway, so you can put his guns on him. So you could put into his hands as handheld weapons, but I prefer to put it on his forms like this. Cause that's how it's pictured on the box. So I'm gonna follow the box. So <laughs> there you go. There is pipes wielding his weapons. So. That's pretty cute, so. And also, if you want to, there are ports at the end of the barrel, so you could put in blast effects if you really want to. So that's pretty cool as well. And other places you can put blast effects on. Um, doesn't seem like it. No, I don't really see any other posts to put blast effects on. I, no, I don't, I don't see it. I guess you can put it on these ports if you want to. Anyway, it's not about, it's not about Blast of X, it's about pipes, hey! It's about, all about pipes, but anyway. So yeah, yeah, really, really well done figure in my opinion. So we're going to do some size comparisons right now. Here is pipes compared with the Earthrise slash Kingdom Leader class Optimus Prime. And finally with his mold mate, Huffer and they do share the legs, the legs are the same, um, the crotch is definitely a different piece, uh, the chest is different, the head is different, obviously, uh, the arms are different, because they do have different molds, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and the back section, uh, the way this transform is really really different, because he has a swivel right here, right now, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, they did quite a bit of remolding to to make these two figures very very different, so it's like, you're holding the, the uh, you're holding the same toy, but at the same time, you're not holding the same toy, and that is pretty cool. That's how I. Uh, that's what I like about uh, repaint slash retools. Uh, you know, that's that. Because you know, I want to experience something new. You know, not the same repainted chest all all the time. So <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I have two versions of this mold. Um, I'm not sure if I want to get the Road Ranger and Puffer set um, because the only Golden Disc Collection set I would get is Pterosaur. So. Road Ranger and Puffer, uh, they may look good, they may look really cool, but I am not too interested in them, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Huffer and Pipes, that's it. I'm done with this mold. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But there you go. There is the comparison between Huffer and Pipes, and that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Warper Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Autobot. Pipes and uh, yeah, really well done figure in my opinion. Uh, he looks really good in robot mode. Looks pretty good in vehicle mode. Um, I have no QC issues with this figure whatsoever. Um, I like the details. I like the paintwork. I like the retooling on this figure, and uh, really like it. Really makes him look different from Huffer, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I like the weapons as well. I like how you can actually have. Smokestacks in the truck mode, which eh, doesn't look really, it doesn't look that elegant, but oh well, it is what it is. It kind of works, it doesn't work. I don't know whether it works or not, but anyway. But um, yeah, the transformation is nice and smooth. The uh, articulation is fantastic. Um, I love the articulation on this figure, I think it's really well done, and uh, yeah, perfect articulation. Um, Minus the wrist swivels, but I don't care about the wrist swivels, so yeah, wrist swivels I don't really care about. So, um, yeah, but yeah, all in all, though, it's a really well done figure, and I think this is the best mainline G1 pipes figure that we have ever gotten. Um, I have seen the Combiner Wars version before, and that thing does not look that great. <laughs> so, 
that thing is not pipes. No, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. They have been lazy with that mold, so yeah. But this one, they were not lazy with the mold. They actually put in a different transformation scheme with the uh, with the backpack section for pipes, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, so yeah, very, very well done figure in my opinion. So, uh, if I were to rank this guy from a scale of one to ten, um. I really don't know. Um, <laughs> I guess since I have no issues whatsoever, since I'm perfectly fine with this figure, um, I'm perfectly fine with the paint, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with the details, I'm fine with the articulation, I guess, you know, I'm gonna give him a good, um, a perfect 10 out of 10. So yeah, this is a really, really great Pipes figure. I absolutely love it, and um, definitely worth having in the collection so uh so if you see this guy on the shelf go pick him up and uh i don't think you're i don't think you'll be disappointed because uh it's a really fun figure to mess with so um so yeah that's all from me today so yeah that is pretty much it for today's video review so i did get this figure from my toy m corp mall just like the kingdom arc so yeah i got this guy from my toy m corp that's the shop name i got this from and um, you want pipes? Um, if you live in the U.S., go go shop around. Go go to Walmart. Go to Target. Or if you want to shop online, go to Amazon if you want to. Hey, <laughs> just just shop around, you know. And then you'll find pipes eventually. So, so I guess yeah, that's it, yeah. So, <laughs> um, if you are completely new to the channel, or if this is your first time. Uh, watching a review from this channel and wish to see more reviews on this channel um, Feel free to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button down below and while you are at it Click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you will know my new videos are up and ready And you can always check out my kingdom reviews playlist for any videos I may have missed I'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below and I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformers, Warmer Cybertron Kingdom, Deluxe Class, Autobot Pipes, and this is JJ Bram signing off. Peace out! Yay! Greetings, Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prom Reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.